In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a tool where you can spy on competitors' KDP low content books. You're not going to want to miss this. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory Miles and I run this channel here. And before we get into anything, can I ask you guys to absolutely smash that like and subscribe button as would be greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. Now, I'm going to start off and say this straight away. So this software is in BookBolt. This tool that I'm going to show you today is in BookBolt. And well, BookBolt actually has a deal paired with this video I'm going to show you today. And that is once this video reaches a thousand views on YouTube, they'll create three coupons for a free one month on BookBolt. And this is just a giveaway that they're giving away for Christmas and who doesn't love free stuff? So I'm, all I'm going to say is if you want the chance to win this coupon, make sure you watch the whole of this video and like and comment because that helps the YouTube algorithm to push it out to more people, creates more engagement and well, obviously share it to friends and family so we can get those coupons that I can then give to one of you guys. So let's not waste any more time and let's go and have a look at this powerful tool I'm going to show you. So let's start off by going into BookBolt. So as you can see, I am logged in. And well, when you first open BookBolt, this is what comes up. So obviously you get all the tutorials and well, first of all, these are really, really great because it gives easy step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use each software and really get the hidden details that you may not find out because obviously you can try and teach yourself how to use them, but these videos I find really useful. I've looked through them to gain like extra details within each software because obviously there's loads and well, it just gives an in-depth explanation on how to use it and get the most out of it to, well, build your business. And they have a video for the tool we're gonna to use today, which is KDP Spy. So let's get to using it. So on the left here, you can see all the different tools to use. And we're gonna to go to KDP Spy, it's at the bottom and that's the one we're gonna be using. And as you can see, it'll open this new page, which is the Chrome Web Store. And basically what it is, is it's an extension which we can then use in Amazon. And as you can see, I already have it downloaded, but when you first go onto here, all you've got to click is add to Chrome and it will just add as an extension up here in the top right. And as you can see, I've got mine here as that small book up in the top right. Then once you've downloaded it, all you've got to do next is then go into Amazon and do the research that you want. So we're in Amazon at the moment and the keyword phrase that we're gonna be using is teacher notebook. Now I'm not saying this is a niche to be getting into at all, although, it is actually a good one if you go through Pinterest like I talk about and find funny quotes, funny teacher quotes and that sort of thing. Well, this can be good niche, but we're just going for the broad one and as you can see, there is 10,000 results. But I wanted to use it as an example for today's video to show you how it can receive all that data and turn it into useful data which you can then use for your business. So as you can see, there is many, many books here and some are making a lot of sales, some not as many, but let's see what KDP Spy can do now. So all you've got to do is click on that book, that KDP Spy tool, and it'll bring up this menu. And all you've got to do, very, very simple, just click start and leave it to run, because what it's doing now, it is going through those pages and pages, going through those 10,000 results and receiving all different books, getting all the data for all the different books, and basically just saving you time in doing it yourself. It's literally doing it all for you, and it's only taking a matter of seconds. And as you can see, it's already done. That took about five seconds, and it has gone through every single page under the teacher notebook keyword phrase and found a bunch of books. And as you can see, it will give a bunch of data here. So average number of sales up here, 446.6. Average number of reviews, 8.5. Average BSR, 424,000. Average price, $27.99. And then that's the average over all those 10,000 results. So the average number of sales is 446 sales. And then, well, we can go through all the data for each individual book. So we've got one here, the influencer of a great teacher is never erased. It's got the price there at $6.99, the BSR of it, 844,000, the estimated number of sales, 2.2, and the estimated revenue. So that's telling you how much they estimate, how much the book has made and how many sales. And then obviously it's got more information here, such as author and the date it was published. And then here comes the cool thing where you can sample all the data into different categories. So if we just click on the price here, well, if we just click on that, it will then sort the products under that keyword phrase from most expensive to least expensive. So as you can see, 
30 pack craft notebooks is the most expensive thing under teacher notebook at 34 dollars and then it has a bsr of 17000 number of rate which is the reviews 82 reviews and the stars 4.7 estimated number of sales 183 and estimated revenue 6243 and obviously they're all not going to be notebooks because not everything in Amazon is going to be a book. There's going to be phrases that people have used that teacher notebook phrase for other products, such as a 30 pack of notebooks, a bag for school, a bag for teachers, that sort of thing. So we can sort it from price, which isn't, I would say, the most important one. The one I would say is more important is BSR. So we can then sort it from BSR. So that's the one with the highest BSR. And then the lowest is good days start with gratitude. So that's that gratitude journal that I've shown you in a previous video. And it has a BSR of 33, 14,000 reviews with a rating of 4.6, estimated sales 2,772 and estimated revenue 17,000. And well, the reason that may be under teacher notebook, the phrase teacher notebook is because, well, that author could have used it in their keyword phrase because, well, it may be something that's popular within teachers, that sort of thing, or maybe it's something that Amazon is used in well. You'll find that when it comes to top selling books like that with BSRs of that much, I mean, this is one of the best KDP books out there. Well, Amazon will use loads of different phrases to get it on pages that may not even be relevant. And yes, so as you can see, you can have a scroll down and it will basically order them all in their BSR. And you can also do it for ratings as well, which I wouldn't say is important, but maybe sales would be important to you. And again, good day start with gratitude is one there as well is a top one as well and then estimated revenue and the estimated revenue is that bag we were looking at with $82,000 made and well I personally think this is really really powerful because it's basically just gone through all the data it saved you so much time in a matter of seconds it's done all the necessary data and all you've got to do is well say we want to have a look at one of the books so say we want to have a look at that good day start with gratitude book again we just click on the ASIN on the side and it will take us straight to that page. So we can go through, look at the top selling ones, ones that may be relevant to us, ones you want to have a look at, just click on them and it will take us straight to that page. And then here is where I find that using this tool would be very, very useful. So say we've got this book here, the good days start with gratitude. Well, if we go into BookBolt, BookBolt also has the tool BookScale, which is a reverse ASI and lookup. And basically what it will do with the ICN, it will find all the keywords that have been used to rank this book. Keywords that Amazon has used, keywords the author has used in the title, subtitle, all that stuff. And it will show you all of these different keywords. So what you could be doing is, well, you could be going through with the KDP spy tool, spying on all these different books under the teacher notebook planner. And then, well, you found one that thinks, okay, I want to be creating a book like that. So you can then click on the book, which I've done, they clicked on this good day, start with gratitude. Then we can go down, get the ASIN number. So this number just down here, command C, go back into book book, command V, let it search. And well, as you can see, because I've searched it before, it's taken a matter of seconds to search the book. Maybe with new books, it'll take a couple of minutes just to get all that data. Cause it's a lot of data. It's got to go through finding different keywords and that sort of thing. And well, as you can see, it has got all the keywords that are relevant for this book. And well, once some data has loaded in, well, then what it will give you is it will give you all the keywords on the side. As you can see down here on the left hand side, it will then give you where that book is ranked within each keyword. And as you can see, some of them, it hasn't shown the ranking sum, it has shown the ranking and the total number of items. That's the total number of items that is coming up when you search up that keyword and the search volume, which is obviously the search volume that that book is getting every single month. And well, as you can see straight away, we've got this one here, 12 week year field guide. Now, I'm not sure what that is, what a field guide is, but as you can see, there's 143 items there's only 143 products there, and yet the search volume is 8,375. And well, if we search that keyword phrase into Amazon, you can see there is 136 results, which is very, very similar to that 143, showing us it is accurate, and yet it is saying this is getting 8,000 searches every single month. So that's a possibility. That could be a keyword that I would write down. So then what I'd do is I'd get that keyword phrase and then I'd put it into a Google Doc. So I've got, then got a list of different keywords that I could use or into a 
Google Excel sheet or Google Sheets. And then you could put the total number of items that come up and the search volume that comes up. And yeah, we can go through all of this information that comes up linked with this book and we can gain loads and loads of different ideas. So this one here, 2020 calendar wall inspirational quotes, 4,000 items and a 2,300 search volume. So I'd say, mm, maybe not. And a good neighborhood book, 5,000 items, 11,000 search volumes. So that could be as well. And then you can also sort it by search volume and by the lowest search volume, the highest search volume. There's all sorts of different things you can mess around with. And I find it really, really powerful. I love these reverse ASN lookups and they're really, really useful if you can use them effectively. And obviously that is only two softwares which are within BookBot. You then got the thing like the cloud, which you can then search up the top selling books, like sort by top 100, you can leave that to search and you can add in different keywords to find the top keywords listed under each book. So this will show us just the top 100 books under the category notebook and it's this one here. And you can again, look on each book, it will give you extra bit of information. And then what you can then do is then use reverse ISN, ISN on these books by getting the ASIN of these books typing it into that book scout again and getting all this different information. And yet it's got all these different books listed up here. You've got then got another tool here, keywords. You can then search up a bunch of different keyword phrases. So like gratitude journal, and it will show us a bunch of keywords and it says it'll be ready in about 10 seconds because obviously it's got to go through a lot of data once again. And then you can sort it by competition as well. So from competition high to competition, what it says here, no data, which would suggest to me that, well, there's no one searching for those. And obviously the gratitude journal keyword would probably be quite a tough one to get into because it's quite popular. But obviously it's got all the different search volumes on the side, so we could sort by the search volume. 50,000 search volume is gratitude journal for girls, but obviously the competition is high, so maybe not. But there's other ones here, gratitude journal for boys 10 to 12. And you can have a look through all of these just by sorting. We can sort by the Amazon search volume, Google search volume, and that sort of thing. And all these tools are just really, really powerful. And BookBolt is cheap. It is cheap it's for $20 per month. And if you use the 20% gift voucher that they have linked with this channel, Mr. Rosa, you can then get even more off. And it is a cheap one compared to all the other softwares that can do different things like that. And you get all sorts of different stuff. And the thing about BookBolt is that well, BookBot could just be the only software used because it also has a designer software in it for your covers, your interiors, that sort of thing. If you're starting out, if you're a beginner in this and you haven't made much money off it, I would say BookBot is definitely the software for you because of the price range of it and all the stuff you get inside it, which for other softwares would be more expensive. Maybe I'll admit you get more out of other softwares. However, for the price range, I'd probably shift more towards this one because you can do almost the same, if not the same amount of stuff within BookBolt and you get all sorts of different softwares which I haven't seen in other ones. Like a seller, you can search by seller names. So if there's an author that you particularly like their style, you can search for their author name and where it can give you all their books, that sort of thing. And yeah, obviously it's got all the tutorials, like I said, that can give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use each software effectively. So yeah, that's all I've got to say for this video. And well, the main one we looked at was that KDP Spy and Book Scout, how you can use them linked together to do some powerful keyword research with the KDP Spy going through and receiving all that data for each different keyword phrase in a matter of seconds. So yeah. That's all I've got to say for this video. And once again, like I said, I really hope you've watched through this whole video so YouTube can recommend it to more people and make sure you go and recommend it to your friends, family, anyone you know, just so we can get this video to a thousand views and we can get BookBot to give those three free month coupons away. And if you don't want to get those free coupons, well, you can use, like I said, the discount code, which I have all the instructions listed in the description below to get 20% off your purchase with BookBot. That's all I've got for today, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And, well, let me know how you feel about BookBot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.